Hey guys, my Kentucky Range Time, back with another episode of our 50 Beowulf gel block test series. And today we're looking at the Lehigh Defense Extreme Penetrator Bullet. This is a 350 grain solid copper bullet from Lehigh Defense. And I've tested this in 44 mag and 38 special, 357 mag, several other calibers. And I, I like to keep coming back to this bullet. It's, uh, it's unique in that we don't get any expansion out of these bullets, but for the weight and the velocities, we don't get the penetration that we would expect from a solid bullet. And that's due to the unique design of the tip on this bullet uh, and the way that it compresses. And it actually does a lot of hydrostatic damage to tissue as it passes through the wound channel. And, and that compression it does in front of it and builds uh, is actually what steals the velocity from this and it's not real evident how it works but it actually does work pretty well so uh, let's turn around here and take a look at the loading and then we'll head on out to the range and see what this thing actually does all right so here's a look at the loading and i don't actually have the factory box that came with these uh these bullets uh these are actually some pull down bullets uh, out of some other ammo that i had 50 cal and i actually pulled those down and reloaded them and, uh, but we did use 16 accurate 1680 on the powder and Winchester large pistol Magnum primer. Just cover up this little spot right here. And uh, this gives you a good idea of how much this is down in the case. Now, one thing to remember for the volume of case that we lose, which means also for the decrease of powder, we don't gain as much weight with these all coppers as what we do with lead bullets. So uh, uh, we lose volume for less weight and it actually generates less inertia. So that, that does play into loading these all coppers at some point. All right, so let's head off the range and see how these things do in the gel, and we'll be back here shortly. All right, guys, next round in our 50 Beowulf Ballistic Gel Block Test Series is gonna be the 350 grain uh, Barnes Extreme Penetrator. And uh, this is their all copper bullet with the, uh, the screwdriver looking in on it. And <clears throat> typically these things, uh, <clears throat> even though they don't expand, the, the penetration is not as extreme as what you would think it would be uh, because of the, the, the compression and uh, that this nose generates. It's, it's kind of unique in its design. So let's go ahead and put a couple of these into this block out here and see where we get the catches on these things. So I have changed this up. I actually have four 16 inch gel blocks out there right now. So that gives us uh, 16 inches each. That's 64 inches of gel block. So we're just over five foot of gel out here at this point. And I've got the steel plate set up on the back side to catch these if they go all the way through. All right, velocity of 1550.2. And let's go check out the catch. All right, guys, so uh, I put my two cloudy, my older blocks up front here, uh, just because I knew that we weren't gonna get any expansion on this bullet. Here's the entry, and you can still track this wound track down through here. and. Uh, so it looks like in this point here, we get some rotation on this thing. It starts to flip and tumble. And right on down through here, running across the bottom of all these. And here we set at a total penetration of 49 inches. And like I said, I, I didn't expect any expansion and don't see any evidence of that here. All right, let's go back and run another one of these. All right, Barnes 350 grain extreme penetrator, shot number two. Ninety foot per second for standard deviation of 20.2 and uh, kinetic energy on these looks like it's set 1965 foot per second so let's go check this one out all right entry for this one was right behind the other one and from what I can tell, similar results down through here. And looks like we made a total penetration run on this one 
of about 48 and a quarter inches. It's sticking just between these two gel blocks right here. So, all right, guys, there we go. So consistent 48 inches of penetration out of this bullet and uh, no deformation. So this is a this is deep penetration for this one. All right, guys, after action report on these 350 grain Lehigh Defense Extreme Penetrators and 0% expansion, 100% weight retention, and we ended up with 48.6 inches of penetration and uh, really nothing to, uh, nothing to uh, get too excited about in the after action report here. You pretty much know what these are going to do when you're actually seating them in the case. So, all right. All right, guys, there you go. So the Lehigh Defense 350 grain extreme penetrator bullet, and that's what we got. We got extreme penetration, 48 plus inches of penetration uh, average for these two shots. And uh, it does just exactly what it's designed to do. And one of the things that I wanna do is I wanna take a couple of these, and I wanna reload these. And I wanna take the numbers from these two on the first firing, and I want to compare the, the numbers to these two on the second firing just out of curiosity to see. And, and I've done this before with uh, my 458 SOCOM and some 500 grain uh, TSX bullets that I run. I've reloaded those uh, and fired them the second time and had no noticeable difference in performance on those. Uh, so curiosity will get the best of me at some point, and I'll actually do that. And I'll probably do a short video clip on it just uh, just so you guys can, can kind of see that too. Um, Let's take a quick look at the, the numbers on this. Average velocity was 1,570.4 foot per second. And let me check real quick. All right, I've got the load data sheet from, from Lehigh Defense. And, and what I do when I'm searching load data for these is if I can find it online, I usually print a copy of this and I put it in my load manual. That way I've got it and I can refer back to it. Um, so... The load given, accurate 1680, 36 grains. Starting load of 36 grains. Uh, max load of 43 grains. And I loaded 42. So I, I dropped down one full grain below what they gave us max. And uh, I had 1,570 foot per second. They're showing 1,750 foot with a max load. So uh, I'm not sure one grain's going to get me up there. Looks like their overall length was a little bit longer than mine too. So, uh, and it was a 16 inch barrel from their, their test gun as well. So uh, not, not real sure, but you know, I'm coming in a little bit low on the velocity, uh, so average velocity. Standard deviation was 20.2 for two rounds. Uh, energy was 1,917 foot per second at the muzzle. And, and of course, 0% expansion, 100% weight retention, and 48.6 inches of average penetration between the two bullets. So uh, uh, pretty good performance there all in all. So, all right, guys. So it's hard to get excited about these. They're, they're, they're a solid performer. They do what they're designed to do, but there's no expansion. There's nothing to, to draw you in as far as the visual uh, change in this bullet and everything else. So uh, anyway... I like it, but it's pretty low key. All right. If you haven't already, please uh, check out the information tab up here for my affiliate links. And I, I know you guys that watch all my videos, you're probably getting tired of hearing this. So I try to keep it short and sweet. Uh, if you'll shop with these sponsors, my affiliate partners up here, it'll help support the page. Cut and dry. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button and feel free to share hit the share button, copy and paste, and share my videos anywhere you guys want to share them. Uh, X, MeWe's, uh, Truth Social, Instagram, Facebook, uh, uh, Threads, you know, wherever you guys uh, do social media, if you've got friends or you're in groups that are interested in reloading and any material that I'm sharing, uh, I, would, I would love if you guys would reshare my videos over there. Uh, just randomly post one up in a group and, and uh, that, that helps the page grow as well. So, all right, guys, Matt, Kentucky Range Time. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.